Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, had a good day. Uh, very, very aggressive action. We'll talk about uh, the individual pivots uh, in a few minutes. Um, you you kind of saw brewing, okay? Uh, yesterday we saw a, a tremendous disconnect. The, the Dow was up at one point six, seven hundred points on um, the soft opening. I believe this is a June fifteenth date. Uh, that all, again, non-essential businesses were going to start to open up their doors and kind of salvage of what they lost uh, over the last couple of months. So you started seeing really, really big macro moves yesterday in airlines, continuation in airlines, in casinos, uh, in uh, cruise ships, right? Uh, anything, Disney, anything to do with leisure, restaurants, anything to do with opening up their doors and kind of, um, you know, letting in, right? Letting in. Uh, letting in the money. I think I think it's the best way of saying it. But the one thing that caught our eye yesterday, um, and we talked about this last night, and yesterday was some really good value. Everything was to the downside. All the value yesterday uh, was to the downside, and we continued to see this. And again, it all started so innocently. If you guys remember, it all started with uh, Netflix, right? A couple of days ago, the first high flyer, uh, one of the prime uh, prime candidates of the whole stay at home movement that really benefited right um and you started seeing kind of a buyer strike somewhere around this area here into the upper bollinger band and it all started very innocently once it lost the five-day moving average again going back to all these videos guys if you've never especially if you're new traders if you're if you're still very very early into your whole journey of trading start with the five day just just trust me on this if you if you if you never listen to anything uh that i ever say ever again as far as technical analysis goes start with the five day moving average i i guarantee you it will give you the cleanest view of short-term sentiment you're going to find uh and if you go through a whole bunch of videos you know you'll, you'll hear me call, talk about it non-stop again uh it's again it's another conversation for another day but it started so innocently with netflix uh, it lost the five-day moving average at 450, and you could start seeing every single day weakness, weakness, more weakness. No matter what the market was doing, again, buyers were tapping out. They were tired. There was an energy strike in, in uh, Netflix. And then you started seeing the same thing with Amazon, right? Huge run. And again, another major benefactor of the whole stay in movement. Again, Amazon is Amazon. No matter what happens in the world, uh, if Corona didn't exist, if 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 anything, if the world, if measles 2.0 comes into Amazon, will still be Amazon. So the idea that Amazon was also kind of a a major uh, recipient of of business, okay, you can make that case. So you started seeing the same thing with Amazon, and again, here is the five day moving average, and again, same thing with Netflix. It eas it, it it slowly but surely started building under, and again, nobody noticed it, right? Nobody noticed it. It was all good. It was just a you know a a, a small little back test it's all good buy the dip buy the dip buy the dip and then it started snowballing right it started snowballing with uh zm it started snowballing with bynd right bynd uh apple we talked about this yesterday right little by little in the video we started talking about in the video is again one day away one day away and if you didn't pay attention to what the market was screaming at you yesterday, okay? And again, if you're trading, if you're in airlines and if you're in hotels and everything and you didn't even know this was going on and th this is not your thing, that's, a, that's, that's fine. There's nothing, then this, this conversation has nothing to do with you. But if you, tr if you do trade these high-flying technology names, uh, high beta names, the biggest average true range recipients in the whole market, right? If you trade these stocks and you completely avoided the signs, not just yesterday. Okay, yesterday I think was an extreme sign. I mean, the loudest I've seen uh, these beta names scream at us, okay, at, at full tilt, like literally scream at us, uh, telling us, hey, there's something wrong, there's something wrong. We're underneath the first area uh, of support. If, they get, if we get confirmed, we're, we're gonna go lower. And yesterday uh, was some really good value. And I was, you know, we talked about this in last night's video. I, yesterday was the first time I can honestly say, and I said this on the video last night, 
that I was 100% sell bias. I, I don't think I've ever said that uh, probably doing any of these updates, but I was 100% sell bias. I, again, you could see there was no participation in any rally. A lot of these names were closing at the lows. They kept on getting rejected into supply over and over and over again. And I said to myself, the only thing that can you know really derail a lot of value going to today if we gap down. So when we gapped up this morning and we were up 350 points, and again, the Dow is doing a phenomenal job. Again, it doesn't really take a lot uh, for these Dow components to put up a three, four, 500 point move. There's, again, there's only 30 of them, so it really doesn't take a lot. It's more water cooler talk than anything else. So when everything gapped up today and we we're up 350 points, that was the cleanest way of capturing confirmation for today's session. You saw Amazon gap up 12, and I said to myself, okay, that's perfect. Again, it wasn't like a 30, 40 point gap up, it was 12, right? You saw Netflix gap up like a dollar, BYMD gapped up like a dollar. There was nothing, there was absolutely no juice with a 350 point rally and a gap up. And the only thing we needed to do, and I, and I tweeted this, this, and I tweeted this morning right before the open, and I said to myself, look, I'm not anticipating, okay? You, you, the easiest way to get absolutely destroyed in any market, okay, is to anticipate something happening. Again, you're guessing, it's, you know, you're guessing, you're gambling, you're forecasting. These are, these are incredibly bad no-nos that if you, if you do that more often than not, you're gonna blow out your account. So I said patiently, look, we're gonna wait for these areas to patiently con 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 uh, confirm. I'm literally 100% sell bias today. The only one that I liked on the upside uh, was Boeing, okay, just because of all the call buying and never got there. Um, and I said, well, it's just a matter of time. If these things confirm, they're going to get hit. Now, again, nobody in their right mind was thinking we were going to have candles like we saw today, okay? I thought, you know, the normal thing, you know, maybe $10, $12 on Amazon, you know, maybe four or five, you know, maybe three, four dollars on Netflix, right? Because again, you're, you're trading based on technical analysis. You're trading based on stocks going from supply to supply on the upside and demand to demand to the outside. So again, you cannot step up to bat and try to hit a five run home run. I've discussed this in nausea so many times. Again, five run home runs don't exist unless you're trading the stock market. And today was one of the most aggressive sell-offs I can remember in a very, very long time. And you know, this is a perfect example that how having familiarity with the stocks that you want to trade every single day. So again, we weren't watching, you know, a million different stocks. It's the same names over and over again. If you've been watching this broadcast, it's literally the same pivots, whether they're long, short. Again, this is our specialty. Because Again, not because the PS60 theory is restricted to beta. You could trade, you can literally trade pivots on anything, $2 stocks, $20 stocks, whatever you want. This is just my drug of choice because again, these give, these the guys are giving us the, the, the greatest average true range. And when these confirm and they confirm aggressively, unbelievable things happen. And if you look at the cues today, just to kind of a, see exactly what happened. If you look at the cues today and see exactly what happened at the open, okay? So we gapped up, right? Gapped up, hit supply perfectly. And for the next four, next three and a half hours, the first three and a half hours of the day, just absolute destruction. I mean, it looked like it looked like a flash crash uh, was about to happen. And a lot of these names did flash crash. They literally did. And the only one that I left off, I think I, I, I literally got, I, I literally put almost every single one of them on the Twitter feed, but it didn't make a difference. You weren't looking for another one. The one that you were in, that was the one. So uh, Tesla today, Amazon, Tesla, NVIDIA, uh, Netflix, they were just going one by one by one. And Again, when you see the mirror image of this and exactly what happened to the beta names, uh, it turned out to be, again, one of the more uh, aggressive sessions, especially in the first two, three candles that I thought, hell, I thought there was a shot the way they were going down. I, I thought there was a shot that the NASDAQ 100 could go down 300 points, okay, let alone, you know, let alone 150. And the most amazing part, what happened next, and this is where you really have to take your, 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 your hat off to the bulls. There was a tremendous V-shaped recovery. And now it's setting up for tomorrow. Uh, you, again, you don't need to be creative, guys. Every, every stock is literally putting in a hammer. Uh, we'll get to the technical side of it, but let's talk about the pivots here. Uh, this is the only one that didn't, 
didn't trigger here. Boeing, uh, 149.75, 150. I still like this for tomorrow. Uh, so let's go. Let's start it. So uh, 2404. Uh, Amazon, if it builds below, I, I thought the first move could get to 2390, right? 2404, if it builds below, could go to 2390. Yeah, it, it didn't quite stop at 2390. So here was 2390, right? So here was 2390 here, and it kind of forgot that there was support, and it went all the way down to 2330. Just absolute destruction. Uh, NVIDIA, 345, if it builds below, can flush more. Again, nobody was thinking... 12, 20, 30, nobody was thinking this, okay? Three, four dollars, right? From support to support, okay? So NVIDIA takes out 345, okay? This is 345, takes out 345. The first candle goes to 328 and then confirms later and goes to 319. Bonkers, absolute bonkers. Uh, I caught Tesla uh, pretty well here, uh, 810 support. I, I, I said there was a shot it gets down to 396. Uh, my lowest cover was 801. Okay, so I was okay with that. So I got short at 810, uh, added more 809, and it just it just imploded. It absolutely imploded. And then there was another candle, right? There was another candle at uh, 396 that I said, hey, if it starts building 396, it get to 387. It went down to 785. Just just to give you an example, how incredibly aggressive today was. Just they they overshot supply. Excuse me, overshot support like it wasn't even there. That's the most aggressive part. Uh, Netflix again. You can see the notes here. Uh, you know, 40950, 409. If it builds below, can flush to 404, 405. Again, 404, 405 is is a phenomenal trade. It's a beautiful trade. There's nothing wrong with this trade until you realize that again it went through 405 like it wasn't even there. So here's 405. It went down to 397. Again, it overshot support by $7. Just absolute bananas. Uh, and then they just, again, they were just literally going one by one. Uh, NOW, again, look at the notes here. 37950, 379 for builds below. Can go to 376. Any close. Again, we weren't saying anything below 76. Any close below 76 is super bearish. NOW, I mean, just destroyed. I mean, absolutely destroyed. So here is, you know, here is the 37950. It stopped the 376, basically gave any dip buyer the FU, right? And went all the way down to 352, just, just destruction, absolute destruction. Uh, Apple, literally, they were going one by one by one, uh, 316.50, uh, 316 and a quarter if it builds below can flush. Uh, again, here's Apple, here's the 316, right? Here's the 316.50, 316.50, 316.50, 316.50, blah, 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 blah. Stock went down to 313. Again, one of the most, one of the more tamer of the moves. But again, $3 candle on Apple is is, is phenomenal. Uh, again, one by one, square. If it builds below 80, you can flush. Look at square. Here was 80, right? Here was 80 right here. Square went down to 76. I mean, just, just murder. Absolute murder. One after another. Uh, MDB, if it builds below 214, if it builds below, can flush, right? Here's MDB. Here's 214, right? Here's the 214. MDB went down to 196. I mean, just murders. Absolute murder in this thing. And then uh, we were watching uh, Tesla to the upside that never confirmed. And again, you could just see the notes just, just destroyed, smack. I, mean, this, I, I ran out of, you know, I, I ran out of hyperboles. I mean, it's just, just killed. I mean, killed, smacked, destroyed. I mean, which, which one do you want? 405 coming. Forget about 405. What, you know, 397 coming, right? Uh, take on the way down, had a shot to 96. It, it went, I mean, beta got destroyed. I mean, perfect game plan. Uh, and then I joked around. This is this is literally an hour into the close. I joked around. I go, what do you, like, what do you guys want to do for the rest of the day? Again, it's like, it's like, uh, you know, it's like a fat kid just devouring a four course meal. And then the waiter is taking away, you know, taking away the plate and they're trying to lick the crumbs off the plate. I mean, what, I mean, what do you want to do for the rest of the plate, uh, rest of the day? And the most amazing part, again, destroyed, uh, you know, just the stocks got destroyed. Uh, destroyed. BYND for all you guys who came in short yesterday from the 134 confirmation. The Beyond got destroyed. So we were sitting there. We were sitting there, and the most amazing part, and this is again kind of where we want to lead into tomorrow. You saw this big aggressive V-shaped recovery, but again, it didn't just stop out of nowhere. And this is kind of when you're doing your research tonight, you'll really see. Stocks mirror exactly the NASDAQ 100, the Qs. They, they held the rising 20-day support and put this aggressive uh, hammer. Again, uh, for all you guys who are just starting to trade, uh, again, hammer is the most basic uh, reference point for 
bullish action to come. Uh, uh, hammer is bullish, inverted hammer is bearish. So all we're waiting for tomorrow is for confirmation of prices, of, of, above uh, prices for today's level, above the 60 minute channel. I, I think the perfect world, right, for tomorrow, if we can get a light open, because remember the Dow Jones had a big run here. You had a two day run of a thousand points. So if the Dow can be weak tomorrow, it would be really good. It has nothing to do, you know, we don't care about the Dow, but if we can get a 100, 200 point kind of wash out in the Dow in the morning, and maybe get a little bit of weakness in the in the beta names. In a perfect world, what they would happen is uh, for these stocks to kind of trap early late shorts, right? Trap late shorts, go red, go red to green later, take out 10 a.m. highs, and then confirm and rally for the rest of the day. Because if you look at these charts, they're all going to mirror the Nasdaq 100. If you look in the video. Right, you got Monster Hammer, you got Netflix, which I really like for tomorrow. Monster Hammer. Uh, when you look at Apple, right, Monster Hammer, and reclaimed the five-day moving average. Uh, Amazon, uh, same thing. Monster Hammer reclaimed uh, all of support. So again, you don't need to be uh, very, very creative for tomorrow. Uh, again, we have a very, very specific plan every single day. Uh, I know a lot of you guys did incredibly well today, and guess what? It's all. Okay, it's over. So it's okay to be happy, but it, again, it's very, very important to be completely stable, mentally sharp for tomorrow because the market is not going to give you a mulligan because you had a good day yesterday or a good day today. It's all about the new day. And again, every single day is as only as good as the you know it's day starting pitcher. Again, kind of a baseball uh, terminology. But tomorrow, again, I am you know bullish. I'm bullish for tomorrow. I was 100% bearish or at least sell side uh, for today. Uh, I'm. Pretty, pretty bullish for tomorrow. Again, and again, look at the stocks, uh, the high flyers that got killed, that put in the hammers. It, it, it'll take you, it'll literally take you 10 minutes. If you trade beta, it'll take you 10 minutes to run through, you know, 10, 15 stocks. Uh, my, my advice for tomorrow, take the three, four names that you want to trade. You can't trade everything, okay? Take the three, four names that you want to trade. Uh, if you're an options trader, understand where, um, measured potential is for tomorrow and line up your ducks in a row and hopefully tomorrow we'll get some great value and hopefully tomorrow uh, everything will play out like we think it will so guys have a great day great job today and god's willing i'll see you all tomorrow take care congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading you're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.